Welcome back, everybody. So, we're already done Fire Canyon, so let's head into Rock Village. Huh. Stormy. And on fire! That's not good. Okay, then. Huh. Had to figure out what happened here. And of course, there's spy flies. I think I'll be able to trigger a fun cutscene. Hey, we're still waiting. Turn on the teleport gate. Yeah. Kara, you you really want to see what happened here? Cause it's kind of self-evident what happened here. Okay, open it up for you. Oh, fuck, this place is a big sty. I don't think I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! It looks like the Blue Sage threw a party. Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party. No, no! I mean Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders! Oh! And it looks like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're gonna need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some more. We'd better take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers, and come back and give us an update. And take the furball with you. Hey, who knows? It might have been one hell of a party. Ugh, it can't be an easy answer. It never is. Okay, let's head straight into town. And ask all the right questions. Hopefully. Uh, keep an eye around here because this place is relatively dark, so you don't want to lose track of things. Oh yeah, I'm. This place is good. This place is good. I I don't want to go into open water. I don't want to go into open water. So Rock Village has a normal amount of uh, orbs. That's. Uh, da, 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 Sandor Village had. So let's check precursors. Same as. Oh, okay, it's a hub. Until we find out why the blue sage disappeared, you're going to need to collect 45 power cells to fuel his machine. Go get him. So this place essentially got hit by something big. I don't like the look of the looks of this. So let's do our best and talk to people. Yeah, talk I've to people. To get back to my research. You two look like a couple of capable fellows. I've got a research project going, and maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the precursor basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We care. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Fair enough? We can pay it off immediately. Oh, you have the orbs. Here's a power cell we agreed upon. Yay, one down. Good. Ah, yes. And, ah, 45, right? Is that what you were talking about? 45. Might as well do this and get free open on this one. And do one of the hardest gates in the game. Come on. Ah, damn it. Okay, so the goal here is to get over here from over there. I'm going to essentially best now bet cut until I get to it. Because it's really, really difficult.
Oh, first try. Huh. Well, well, third try, but... Huh. Okay. That is one of the hardest ones in the game to get, so I'm actually surprised I got to it. So let's go back over to this one. Beware of the dark light, for it has twisted the fate of one of you. Bring me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. Got it! 120. Uh, let's not jump ahead to that one because there are still people to talk to here. I'm actually surprised I got that. Okay. Go to Weepy or the dude in the barrel. Ah, oh, no. Not another hero. I lost my short on this so-called hero's big fight against the monster up there. Trust me, the smart money's on the monster. That wager pretty much tapped me out. So, I got a proposal. Bring me 90 orbs to get me back on my feet and out of this barrel, and I'll give you a power cell in return. And if you're game, I do have one more bet online. My big comeback. Beat the record time racing Dead Man's Gorge in the Precursor Basin, and I'll get a pretty payoff. For that, I'll give you another power cell. Okay, another power cell wouldn't be bad, but let's talk, or talk to this dude real quick. Oh, my aching head. I thought that's one of your vital organs. Walk it off, tough guy. Oh, sure, I was tough once. Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the boulder bombardment. So, full of valor, armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on. But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me! After my last stunning failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30-ton boulder, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue eco, and a mechanical genius devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way. But alas, he disappeared before we had a chance to turn it on. And he took all of his power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, good, good job, tough guy. But um, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh sure, and seal my doom. <sighs> All right, fine. Bring me ninety precursor orbs, and I'll let the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. Okay, then, let's pay off this guy instead of the mayor. Oh. Wonderful. You brought me the precursor orbs. Alright. I'll fix the bridge. But don't ask me to get involved with that creature again. With the power of melodrama, he was able to put all those uh, pontoons back and back together. Um, often whenever I play the game, I accidentally give the mayor the orbs, but since he's just like the mayor in Sandor Village, needing his re-election funds at the same time, I may as well just give him the uh, <laughs> the, uh, the precursor orbs after I finish up his challenge. I'm not heading over here for... I'm heading over here to collect the orbs up in the air first. Right before I head off to the Precursor uh, Basin? Is it the Basin? Yeah, Precursor Basin is where we're going next, but I want to collect the orbs over here. And... Oh, you! And carefully, carefully, there we go. 
Ah, yes. Get those breakers orbs. And I want to launch myself this way. <laughs> yeah, that large shark worker that I don't think we've actually seen yet is in this area, and if I walk out into the water on either side of uh, this monument well, building, uh, it'll come right for me, so I don't have much time to react. <laughs> Alright, just get out of the way now. That one done, and I want to... Fire hot, fire hurt. Ugh. Break down this one, and get the rest of the uh, spiders. I'm really loving this spin. <laughs> and there we go. We have all of the uh, precursor orbs. With that taken care of, we only have that last uh, spy fan to unleash. Then we can just head over to Precursor Basin and start up on our little journey. And there we go. We got all of the available Precursor orbs immediately. So let's start up on all of the side quests for this area. Rock Village isn't that big, thankfully, so we can easily get around. Map's a little wonky, but hey, we can't exactly complain about that. Jump. So, to get to Precursor Basin, you had to go through this area. Looks like a large hill, but it's a racing stage. So, best you hop onto our Zuma and straight into it. And here are the lightning moles that she was talking about. So, just be careful with this area. It's dark ego tanks. We had to be careful because they don't like the noise, so. Ugh. That's one of those flying lurkers! He might have a power cell! They're, they're moles, essentially. They don't have the best sign in the world. Not bats. Why are they being so stubborn? These guys are often the easiest ones to handle first. Thankfully, they stay in one area. There's one. Watch. And two. Finally. Okay, there we go. That's all done. So let's go grab these Reaper's orbs real quick before we chase after this guy. Mm, that hurt. Just had to be careful with how we move. through a few loops. And come on. I suppose kill these things? Of course they're workers. They, they don't have much our uses besides being enemies. Well, let's... Come on, we're, we're so very close. Yeah, uh, Precursor Basin is going to be essentially challenges like this, races and all that. So, for me, there's going to be a lot of editing. Okay, one down. Start 
taking care of this one. I can cycle back for all this again, but... I need to be careful. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to do the cheap thing. I'm going to go do the cheap thing. It all starts with hitting what's the boxes that I can find. One, two. Heading over here. What AR Dark Ego boxes? And head over to this nozzle. This nozzle heals us back to full as well as gives the uh, Zoomer a special property of healing. Why do we need healing right now on the Zoomer? Well, the purple beckoning grass is one example of why we need it. So I'm going to use my invincibility frames to go through every Dark Eagle box. Damn it. Okay, we're just doing what we usually do here. Just crash into everything. Hey. The slow and arduous process, but more safety for me is much better than anything else. And, and they just give it to you, so might as well use and abuse that, right? That guy should just do one more run, and then we'll go after that worker again. Because if he got full health, and well, he won't be. Hopefully. So it's right there, so let's start going after it. So these guys will run through a select path through every area that they're in. The main objective here is to crash into them and mow them down like we did with uh, the mine uh, the mine workers. I know this is just supposed to essentially give you the a relatively good handle on the reason mechanics in the game, but still it's good to know where you're able to easily cheap out. And with that one done, I'm able to easily go through that whole area again and get the precursor orbs and the spy flies that I missed. Because uh, it, it's good to get all of them. And try not to crash into any more ego boxes. Don't I hit that yet. That's for later on. D D D D too fast. And there we go with that. Okay. Let's like back over here. And use that jump button. I think I jumped a little bit too far. Yeah, I did. I did, of course I did. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry for the lag of energy, just breakers or basin does this to me. It is one of my least liked levels because of all the slock I had to go through. I, I'm okay. I am relatively good at racing games. It's just the fact of uh, steering, controlling, all that is it's it's fine. It's just the fact of I'm a klutz, and when it comes to having overall things done, I have the speed. With that done, we are going to head back to... I want to grab those real quick first. There we go. Uh, let's head back to the green eco valve. This one to be precise. So with the power of uh, green eco, we're able to mow through all these poisonous dark eco plants. wipe them out. But there's a problem here. They're replicating like weeds. Because they're weeds. So 
so we only have so much time to do this. Don't worry, every time you go through it, it means there's less time for them to regrow. Re so our main goal here is to make sure it's as pure as possible. If the green ego that floats through here, well, this is more supposed to take away the dark. Hey, so close. Come on, just a little bit more. I think two more runs, best bet. So we can just completely take care of this infestation. They don't do this often, actually. I think this is the only mission that they, they bring this up. Because it is really nice to see how Eco interacts with the world. And I gotta feel it. Seeing uh, green just be as pure purification, it's nice. It's, it's purifying all that, because this is where all that pops. And we just go one more. Yeah, it's hard. It's, it's hard, because I am doing damage to the infestation. It's, I'm not doing enough invest enough with the fixing of the infestation. So very close. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. This is just watching somebody go back and forth. It's like mopping. It's not the best fit. It's not the most interesting thing in the world, but it's like that's we done. I only have one more left. One more little blemish to take care of. Or Roman pays into a whole mass. Nice big plant. That drops out a nice power cell for us. So we get into this. <laughs> I think this is our second fire cell for this area. You keep on impressing me. But then maybe it's just because I've got low expectations. Okay, your moment of gloating is over. Get out with it! What the? Where do you go? Oh yeah, moment of gloating. I should be allowed to go up, damn it. I did good and you should be proud. Damn, why do you fall down there? Let's get this last, last lurker and then we can best bet end off the episode. Or, no. Ah, oh, great, this is his foot. Joy. My turns aren't going to be good, so let's. Come on. Exile the hole a little bit too early. And there we go. That should be the last worker, right? Or is there four? Maybe there's four? No, no, there is four. There is four. So let's get those ones down. And here's the last worker. There's not that much, but they're enough to be a pain in the ass. Onto your little tricks. And there we go. Nice precursor ore for us. Good flying! Those lurkers were no match for your zoomer. That's one more power cell. One more extra power cell. Let's collect these two orbs real quick. How am I looking on orbs, by the way? Oh, there's 200 here. Okay. So. And we are going to take a look around here. Gather more of these. Get that one 
done. Let's look over here for this uh, spy fly. And I think I think we are on track for the last one. Get these ones. Spy fly. There we go. That should be golden. So next time, oh, I want to get this one as well. <laughs> get that one out of the way. So I think it'll be next time on. Yep, uh, next time on uh, Jack and Daxter. It'll be best bet finishing off Breakers of Gorge. Basin and hang off to well, greener pastures. That's what we pay off the mayor there. I hope to see y'all next time.